So what do eco-journalists actually do? Eco-journalism goes beyond the environment in the real sense of the word because it involves policy development, it involves terrorism, it involves education, it involves cultural and social economic development. Eco-journalism is not a beat, it's everything because from finance to development to health, everything is connected to the environment. And if you don't learn you know, to understand this now, then we'll learn to start acting it. And the earlier we start to act it, the better for us and the better for our children. So above all, it's not limited to nature news. Instead, it is best understood as an integrative big picture view of current events that incorporates an environmental dimension. For us, as environmentalists, we trace all the crises in this country to the environment. From what perspectives do eco-journalists report? Eco-journalists approach current events from a variety of perspectives. They all share a commitment to questions of sustainability, but they differ radically in how they attribute responsibility. Perspectives differ widely in terms of their reliance on markets, governments, or civil society on individual choices or the regulation of production, on current developments or historical trends, on changes in behavior or technological fixes, on governmental action or grassroots initiative, policy first or practice first, ecotourism, ethical consumption, self-determination, organic agriculture, resource efficiency, biological diversity, environmental justice, wilderness conservation, education, history, policy, technological innovation, security, corporate social responsibility. Climate change, they say, is one of the greatest catastrophes facing humanity today. And I think for members of the fourth estate of the realm, it is important that they are aware and educated about the issues concerning climate change. For nations in Africa, specifically, because most of them are facing this the certification currently. Using military operations, using soldiers at the slightest disagreement to dislodge citizens who are making genuine agitations for their livelihood. What will that bring about? It's high time we move our focus back to the environment because everything we do affects the environment. But most importantly, we need to get our policy makers to realize that we've only got one earth and we have to take care of it now. So I need everybody to move their focus back on environment because that's what brings about change. To position yourself as an eco-journalist, you need to do more than choose a point of view. In very practical terms, you also need to be aware of the media ecology of which you your news organization, and your audience are a part. At JHub, we focus specifically on how new mobile and online media complements and transforms the way we do research, tell our stories, and communicate with our audiences. Hybrid approaches allow us to tell stories the way they should be told, using whatever media is available, incorporating a wide range of perspectives, combining research, and even advocacy.